yeah, six days before it moved. Output seems remarkably low. Best I've seen is 300 watts. We probably had 20 mile an hour winds, but still not a lot of output. So my mast base plate is fastened to this 10 foot by 4 foot pre-stressed concrete panel. I've got the first section attached to the mast foot now and then I'm starting to feed up the extension lead which I've got. It's a three core extension lead. We don't worry about um, which colour is which because every it's, 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 these are all phases, three phases coming off the alternator. So um, they go to the rectifier, which then makes it to DC. So we don't worry about what colour these are, but they've all got to be equal size because each one has to carry equal current. So now we've got our four lengths on. The last one was a little bit tricky because there's a collar that the wire, when it's been fed through, goes behind. This one's slightly different because it's got two holes on this side and none on the other side. So whether it makes any difference when we come to put the uh, actual head on or not, I don't know. We'll find out. I had to change the cable as the previous one wasn't long enough. So the strain relief for the cable is to put a twist in it and then put a piece of black well, sort of three quarter inch pipe and push that down into the tube so that the cable then is stopped from pulling on itself so the black pipe is a wedge with a cable looped around it which is the strain relief so that's it upright but without the guy wires on seems quite sturdy they're all together and we've got a perfectly sunny no wind day so the control box has gone on nice powered up for the first time yeah six days before it moved I'm going to buy the five blade version of the uh, prop because it's uh, a, a low wind situation.